Look at them looking up at the sun. <clears throat> the winged ants waited for the day, and now the winged ants must do their one job. Fly away and start new ant colonies. The winged males and females fly into the sky for their one and only mating flight. Turn it down a bit. Okay, hopefully that's good for you guys. So welcome to the SNES quest. We're back. We're with the Ant Simulator known as Sim Ant. It's a pretty cool game. It's subtitled as the Electronic Ant Colony, but a lot of people don't utilize that subtitle. <laughs> we need to help the ant colony survive. This was produced by Maxis, I believe. Sim Ant here is game 317. It is developed by Tomcat Systems, and it is our next challenge game. It's like 3.30 in the morning. We're going to stream because I don't feel like sleeping. Now, I'm hoping this game will be short. So we're going to stream this and maybe start the next game after a little break. There's basically two ways of playing this game. The full game, which is long. Uh, but there's also the scenarios, and the scenarios do lead to a credit screen. As you know, for our challenge rules, we just need to get credits by any means necessary. So the scenarios will be infinitely faster. Your save game feature only applies to the full game mode, technically. I think. Uh, there's a tutorial here if you need to learn how to play the game. This is probably the first game on the SNES that has a tutorial. A straight up a tutorial. I'm not actually going to go through this. <laughs> I don't know if I can get out of this, actually. This is the map view. <clears throat> Alright, we'll be set. I'm gonna teach you guys how to play the game myself. It'll be slightly faster. There's one more thing to check out. Because Simant is an educational game. It's credits for Maxis and Imagineer. It's interesting. <clears throat> I wonder if Tomcat Systems belongs to one of them. Anyway, this is fifth option. You can get information about ants. This is like actually factual information about real ants. And if you want, you can read through this ant encyclopedia, which just has a scroll button and an X button. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing. There's also strategy on how to play the game here. Now, we're going to ignore that strategy, and essentially what we're doing is a ghetto speedrun. <laughs> You'll see. So there's eight scenarios, they get increasingly harder. And in each scenario, you just have to kill the... It's black ants versus red ants, we just have to kill the red ants. And it'll be RNG on if I can do it or not. Not a good button masher, but what we basically want to do is send our ant into battle immediately. So we're going to get started on doing that. If you do the full game mode, you have an entire, like, <clears throat> world to conquer, or an entire series of maps. So that would take infinitely longer. For my, like, later on... I might do, when I'm doing more SNES challenges, I might come back to this game and do a full World Conquer. For right now, though, just for time's sake. 
to not spend days on this game. We're gonna do the scenarios. So we're gonna come in here. Alright, we died. I expect to die because I suck at button mashing. We can make a soldier ant. Hello. And then we're just gonna get back in there and fight. And we're gonna fight until we win. And if we can't kill her, it's kind of RNG if you kill the enemy by yourself. We, uh, will reset until we kill them. The speed run, I think, just, just straight up do this and kill them on the first try as much as possible because they're mad lads that are really good at the game. Okay, we got them. So once the queen's dead, the game will end in a few seconds. And we can just like dig tunnels in their nest if we want. <clears throat> they'll, they'll lose soon, hopefully. Ah, uh, I don't want to recruit anybody. There you go. Red Queen has been destroyed. The black ants rule this area. <laughs> now, now we get to save and get to the next scenario. You get four slots, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's going to be the game. We just want to kill the queen seven more times. It'll be much faster than conquering the entire house, but when we're done with this, I'll show off the map screen. And like I said, in the future, I might come back to this game. This is a pretty cool game. It's very lengthy if you play normally, though. So you want to build up your colony, and... You can fight a spider and deal with the human and the lawnmower and shit. So we're gonna go in the garden now. And, uh, we're not gonna guide our ants to safety or anything, we're just going to go kill Red. <clears throat> there are some menu options on this left you can see. Not really gonna go over those yet. I guess I'll explain all the extra menus once we get done with this, because we want to kill the Queen as fast as possible. Otherwise, it's a reset. And their nest is always, like... I don't have it memorized. It's been a long time since I played. They're... they're, they're whoops. <laughs> they're always somewhere around here. Oh, there's a spider. The spider's probably gonna fuck me up. Where is the red ant nest? I don't see it. I'm blind. Is the spider guarding it? Should be in here somewhere. Did I pass it? Alright, I am starving. He's coming after me. So this might be a reset. I mean to hit that icon. You don't want the history graph. <clears throat> here, while well, I'm... Um, Forgetting. Yeah, where's the red nest at? I know, I got eaten by a spooder. Couldn't find the damn red nest. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh. I should be able to see it on the surface. They're all the way over there. I think. How did I miss this? <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're gonna try and get there. I, I don't know if I can kill them easily now. Here comes their ant. But yeah, normally you're supposed to collect this food, which leaves a trail. 
Yeah, spider is in my way now. Son of a bitch, spider, you son of a bitch. <clears throat> You're supposed to feature your ant so you can get a crazy ant colony going. The goal of the core game is to get 10 flying ants, which don't do anything except breed. And once you have 10 flying ants, they fly over to the next section of map. Spider, leave me alone! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we made it past Spider, and we have it in their territory. Shit. <clears throat> hey, we actually killed the enemy queen. Cool. Well... I think you can pick up their eggs and fuck with them, but... Alright, besides me missing the red ant nest at the beginning, <laughs> we're doing good. So we're on level 3. If I'm not mistaken, there's some RNG in where the nest can spawn, but maybe I'm mistaken. It's fucking music. Dip -a -dip -a -dip -a <laughs> a year in an ant's life. Oh yeah, that's the whole thing. So now we're going in the yard. It's been a lot of rain recently. So your trails, if you're carrying food, you make trails and then your AI ants follow them. But we're just, you know, we're on a murder spree. All we gotta do is kill the Red Queen. No need to make trails. Kill Red Queen and we hopefully avoid Spooter. I don't, I don't remember where the spider is, and I'm not, you know, I'm not if you're a speedrunner, if you don't kill them in the first try, the red queen, you pretty much reset. That's a pretty rough speedrun. We're just casually playing the game f f expediently. I think there's a chance you can start. Wow, I killed it. <laughs> I think there's a chance you can start as a, uh... Oh, there you go. I carried the, uh, the guy. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can carry their eggs and take them out if you want to be a dick. <laughs> well, we're waiting for the game to register that the queen is dead. I'm guessing the soldier ant can't carry eggs. Only the worker can. But, uh... I forget what I was saying. Should be a pretty short game though, overall, which is nice, a refresher from the long games we've been playing. And the next game is probably going to be long, so this is a JRPG. One that I've never played or seen, too, so it'll be exciting. Thankfully it has an English patch. They're in the house. Apparently the pet cat is here. But we don't care. We, we go out and we go murder. I think 90% of the time you're fine as a fly. Yeah, there's other bugs in the game too, which is cool. But 90% of the time I think you're fine if you just run right and find the red nest. Oh, that cat is coming. I don't know where the red nest is. Shit, I don't want to hit the button. No, <laughs> the game doesn't pause when you're in these other menus. Hold up. Let's open our eyes. The, the red guy was down here. So I would think the red nest is down here.
I don't know where the red nest is. It should be further right. That's the cat. Ah, there it is. Jesus. I suck, man. I suck. We're starving. That's why that icon appears over our head. I don't think it affects our combat ability at all. Alright, we died. That's whatever. It's right in the goddamn middle. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Is that a flying ant? Did, did the game just spawn me a flying ant? There's like no reason for the flying ants in uh, the breeders in scenario mode. They're only useful in the campaign game. Uh. Damn, they killed me. Yeah, I suck about mashing. <laughs> but it's okay, because until we starve to death, I have as many tries as I can. I think the queen gets weaker each time. I'm not sure if they recover by the time I get over there. It was a cockroach. This house is nasty. Two cockroaches. They need to clean this house up. Those green things are the food pellets, in case that wasn't obvious. That was a pro dodge for that red, red worker. Sometimes the game is not responsive. There we go, we got the queen. I got the queen. I don't want to recruit. Recruit, you can tell ants to follow you. That's what the recruit is. It happens when you hit the button. Oh, empty space. Gotta love how, like, insanely far they appear to be flying on this looping mode 7 background. Alright, we're halfway done. On the road. It's the middle of summer, it's really hot, ants will lose energy quickly. Watch your food supply, aka immediately attack the Red Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sanaya gives you these gimmicks, but fortunately, they don't matter. It's very wavy in this level. Oh, fuck. I think that hill is an antlion nest. They made a breeder ant? That's hilarious. Oh, stop it. Fuck! <laughs> My hand slipped off the controller for a second. Did I forget the technicals on how this works? Uh, a long time ago, I think on SNES Superstars, they did speedrun this and... The guy was talking about... It's like a very low percent chance that you either win or lose the fight, but every time you hit, I think it's A. I bash A and B, because I'm not sure what button it is. I don't think the game manual tells you, though I've never looked at it. But every time you hit a button, A or B, you increase the percentage by 1. So you're just trying to up your percentage and hope you win the... Sort of coin flip. Hello, I'm the yellow ant. Fortunately, your oh caterpillar. Fortunately, your black ant is able to make 
babies without any food. I didn't see the spider this time. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk into this nest here and uh... What? Oh, that fucked me up. The yellow ant just lost his last life. Oh yeah, you only get three lives, so... We'll try again. I'm a squashed bug. <laughs> Successful bugginess requires practice. I suspect that'll happen quite a few times. At least we get to show this off. Now you know the power of the red ants. Oh god. The power of the red ants. I think I need to go to the saved game. Yeah, hold up. Play. Alright, so we get three tries to kill the enemy ant. Let's go. And we'll find out now if it's in a different spot or the same spot. Spider-Man. Reminds me of that game Grounded. And we got her. <laughs> See, so sometimes you get it, sometimes you just don't. That's really RNG, sort of. I shouldn't transition the screen, it just takes longer to load. Yeah, I'm hungry, let's fuck with the caterpillar. Or not. Congratulations! We're doing great! Only Sim City scenarios were this sufficient to go through. I have two more Sim City games to play. I have no idea how Junior works, but 2000 does have scenario mode, just like the first one. We're going to be playing all the scenarios. That's a problem for future me. Right now, we need to finish killing the Red Queen three more times. Beep, 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 beep. All right, I have to manually walk around the water. Yeah, ants don't dare touch water. Nice glass bottle. Some cool graphics in this game. It's really nice. Pretty chill song, too. On the surface, at least. I don't know why that happens sometimes. Probably my fat finger hitting a button I shouldn't be. <laughs> Hello! I am here to kill the queen. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Okay, he's coming with. So, you can summon ants to follow you, and if I'm lucky, he'll go in the nest and attack the queen for me. Oh good, he went in the nest. Wait, I need to get off of the nest. Oh good, he's in here. So he should attack the queen? Yeah, he's attacking- He killed it! Damn, way to go, AI! <laughs> Sometimes you get lucky and you can, uh... Just do that. 
He's having some serious battles here. And he fed me. He fed me in the middle of a fight. Yeah, that's how you get fed. You can't feed yourself. You have to talk to your fellow ants. God damn. Shout outs to black ant number one billion and whatever. <laughs> he just came in here and destroyed the enemy queen. That's so good. I'm glad that happened. Yeah, Sim Ant, one of the few games with actually useful AI teammates. Now, the AI usually doesn't cooperate like that. I'm kind of surprised he went in the Ant Hill. They usually dilly dally around, but we got pretty lucky there. Alright, into the pooch. Okay, the kids can squish us. The human enemy is present here. Get out of our ant hill. We're almost done, guys. It's been 26 minutes. <laughs> Leave me alone, pill bug. I was about to say hello, enemy queen. Hells yeah, get fucked. I'm taking your egg outside. Wait a minute, come here, you. <laughs> Apparently there are two stacked eggs. I'm leaving it outside. Fuck that ant, it'll die to nature. <laughs> Alright, one more. Before you ask, you cannot skip this cutscene. Gotta watch her ants fly. And presumably sing along to the music if that's their voices. In the woods! <clears throat> Need to survive the barren months, apparently. AKA, go kill the Red Queen. Everything will be fine if you just kill the Red Queen. I, I, I do thank... I thank Maxis for this scenario mode a lot. Yeah, there's a ton of food out now. Oh, right. I think we start with, um... Shit. Oh, dear God. I don't remember. What is that? I think I could have recruited early and actually had allies to fight the Reds with. Too bad we can't. Damn, I got fucked up. Too bad we can't listen to the music I was going to say. Alright, that's, that's whatever. We get two more chances to kill the queen. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, don't go back in. Here, fellow. He's not a soldier, though. So he won't help me that much. I don't even know if he'll follow me since he's not a soldier yet. Perspective on that mushroom is kind of weird with how sideways <laughs> Thank god he didn't fight me. Ah, oh, we have one more chance. I don't know if we'll get it on this attempt. Follow me, ants. Okay. I think he's following me. I don't get stuck. Come on, bro. 
We have a red nest to invade. I know you're just a worker, and this is a little black worker ant, but... I need you to step up to the red queen. No, he, I don't think he's following me anymore. Yeah, they can be unreliable. Oh, shit! Alright, we need to hide. I don't want to die in a battle until the game ends. <laughs> There, we actually did it. Look at all the scenarios. The ants will now hibernate until spring. Congratulations, us. Autumn has ended and winter has arrived. The ants have finished their preparation for winter and now begin their long sleep. Credits! Very good. So like I said, this is the fast way of playing this game, and it's acceptable. And if you do full game, you'll be playing this for a very long time. Because I think even when you kill the Red Queen, if you rush it, you have to make 10 breeders to expand. I might be misremembering, but I think that's how it works. I'm going to show off the full map. I'll go through the menus. Just to explain things, and then uh, we'll move to the next game for the night. Guess I can do my rolls while the credits are playing. The nice credits theme. And the song goes hard. The end. Okay. Not gonna hit a button until it loops. There you go. Actually, I think it's still just continuing. We'll wait here for a minute. I might have to reset because I am hitting buttons and it's not it's not progressing. That was Sim Ant. Nice half hour experience. Do, do, do. Alright, we'll reset. As good as the credits theme is, can all listen to it on our earned time. <laughs> so we're just gonna show off the core game. I'm just gonna go through menus. And uh, we might play the core game in the future. So full game mode, you need to conquer an entire yard and house. You start as a breeder ant, you actually need to pick a location, and there's red ants around already. You need to pick a location for your nest. So this is... whoops, I didn't mean to hit that button. There's a... <laughs> Minor problem with, uh... Using controller. A doggo barking. I don't know where food is here. Oh dear god, there's a spider. Oh, 
It might just not be food. Alright, we're gonna make our nest next to the red nest because we can. Dig new nest. What? I can't dig there. I don't know what the rules are <laughs> dictating digging anywhere. <laughs> I can't dig there. How about in the soft mud? Okay, there we go. We dug a nest. So you can custom your nest all you want. And then you can uh, lay eggs. That turns you into a queen. And you become a yellow ant. And you have to be a worker ant. So that's the start of every round of the house. Now what we want to do is hit Y, which goes to the menu screen. This top thing gives you the chance to look at an overview of your nests. So you can look at an overview of the surface. I believe the game is still playing while this is happening. This is a good way to quickly see where red is at. Yeah, the game is still moving while you're in the overview, so it's not safe. I see all the food now is back here. So I guess that appeared after we made our nest. Uh, <laughs> all the black colonies have been destroyed. That's hilarious. It's because we starved. I was looking at the overview. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, red ants win. Let me get back in there. I'm trying to explain things. Oh, okay, yeah, there's food. First area is supposed to be free. I think this is as low as you can go. Dun 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 food here. I'm gonna get a food real fast and then we'll look at the other screens. Manually Uh, no, drop it. Manually acquiring food. This, this is how this game is going to be. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a little weird to play. You have to like hover over something and hit the B button. Because B and A both act as movement. But A doesn't pick up and put down, B will. So you want to like hit B and then move with A. But it'll also do that. B will bring up the recruitment menu. Now this game does work with... Uh... What do you call it? This game does work with the SNES mouse. I'm on controller right now because I don't have an actual mouse for my SNES. Maybe someday I'll buy the peripheral. But that's something worth noting. Anyway, now that we're chilling, since we have food. Before we do that, we can look at a nest overview. I'm sure you guys understand. This just shows us our nest, and then we can look at an overview of the red nest. And then you can actually go look at the red nest. They let you just see what the AI is doing. So those are the, the top options, or just overviews, and a, and a fast way to look at the close-up. The second option is just let you do some things, I guess. Let me go back to my nest. I want to accidentally click into the red nest. You can hide your scent. I think this erases all your scent trails. So it's basically a reset button. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember what a lot of this does. We seem to have ants doing stuff now, so that's cool. I 
think if I was in the other screen, like the overview screen, I might be able to use this to view. Hold on, let me look at the overview. If I do red trail. Yeah, I think this shows you things on this screen. Yeah, that's what it's doing. Okay, so this works for this menu, but you can change stuff in the in the overworld, I guess. So the next button is this, which lets you enter your behavior and cast systems. This is basically how you tell your AI to do stuff. You can get him to forage, nurse, or dig. Uh... I don't remember how you manipulate what they're doing on that screen. Hold on. This might change... Oh, manual. That's how. See, you can just set this to whatever you want. With the A button. I want 20% digging. There you go. That's, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> So that's that screen, it's just basic AI manip. We've got the spider over our nest, so that's exciting. Usually you want to lure the spider over to the red nest. Then you can determine what type of ants you're, you're breeding here. Aldo or manual. This lets you save the game. Which, you know, just saves the game. And you can save at any time in this mode only. This doesn't work in the scenario mode. And it, it takes a while because it's saving real-time information, I guess, on the SNES. It is pretty impressive. I probably shouldn't have hit this button. I didn't remember it took a while. But we get to watch this animation. But don't, don't save scum often unless you're prepared to wait. Oh dear god, that's so long. It will, it'll be faster if I restart and just get back in. <laughs> Two more options I want to show off before I switch games. Since we beat this. You can look at the whole yard and see how insanely long this game is. But good lord, that save is ridiculous. That's probably the most ridiculous save I've seen in a game. We've played a lot of games. Alright, so the other options are, you can look at the house, this graph chart thing. So this is where the human is, and the dog at the moment, and the cat, the lawnmower. And you, you can <coughs> switch between areas live. You can like leave and come back to different areas once you get your, your stuff all autopiloty. And you can also look at the like stats on how well your colonies are doing per row and stuff. And you can look at the inside of the house. So full game mode, you have to conquer all of this. It's pretty insane. You get you have to win everything. You can look at the history. Which, honestly, I don't, I don't think this is going to show us anything because you, you can see there's some bars on the left, like the very left. But since we're at the very beginning of a level, there is no history to review. And then we can look at the status, which just gives you an overview of how you're doing. So... If you care about those things, they're really unnecessary to the game. It's a pretty simple game. And you can change the uh, speed of the game, which is on fast normally. We can look at slow. Look at how slow slow is. 
Can you imagine doing a full playthrough on slow mode instead of fast? Oh god, you can affect the mouse settings. And you can turn the sound on and off. And that's, that's basically it. So yeah, that that's Cement. Thanks for tuning in. Nice short game. <laughs>